two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> I hate it! I mean, Thanksgiving isn't my thing. I mean, hey, Thanksgiving, don't wobble wobble with me. <laughs> don't wobble wobble me. <laughs> don't wobble me, man. I thought you came off a set or something. Do I look good today? You look cute today, dude. You look clean. Your face looks good. Do you have a lot of acne growing up? <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> what? What do you mean? You've I've had I've had these scars for years. Yeah, I've, I I just noticed them just now, so that's a good thing. I just noticed them right now. <laughs> I like it. It's cool. It's a, it makes uh, it's your it's your seal. Well, it's even worse because right right near it, yeah. I busted my face open. Right when I was a kid. Uh. Um, happy Thanksgiving. I know, but can I just ask you about it real quick? Sure. Did you have a lot of acne just here growing up? It was all concentrated to one part of my face. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. Yeah. It's weird. This was a boy. It was a big boil. Are you being real? No. No. Are you angry? I feel like you're angry right now. It's just an annoying way to start the show. Happy Thanksgiving? Let's go to that. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving <laughs> to you. Because the vibe wobble, is wobble, annoying. Wobble, 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 wobble. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Get me in a good mood. You know what I mean? Dude, when you came in here, bro, right, I was like... Did happy you, Thanksgiving from no, the bad you, friends. Thank, That's happy, it. But when we're you, done. When you came we're in, done. right, I go, did you just step off set? Because that's how good you look. Why are you saying that? Are you being condescending? Uh, no, I swear to you. Did I not say that when you walked in? Well, first of all, you said there's good news to share. And then you said, did you just come off shooting? And I said, no. Right. So then I'm, I'm like. Taking you know what it is? What? I'm doing a skin regimen at night. Is it really? I'm you doing look a, great, dude. Whatever you're doing, I love you. keep doing it. Thank you. All right? Well, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you, man. Dude, happy Thanksgiving more to you than to uh, me. All right? I'm, Dude, I'm Korean, bro. Yeah. We didn't celebrate the shit, so I don't know much about it, bro. Do you want to know? Do you want to learn? Well, I know. I, I know. Dude, I know some things. What do you know? The, um, Can I give you a gift? What? I brought another gift. I'm, I feel like I'm Santa on this show. <laughs> Santa Maria? The, the boats, right? Santa Maria. The Santa Maria? The, the boats has something to do with Plymouth Rock? This is a gift for you. Oh, shit. What this is, is it? In case, here, I'm going to throw it at you. Heads up. That's in case you get cold. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a blanket. Yeah, I don't want it. Do you know about it? No, it's been washed. I don't care. It's clean. <laughs> That's how the Indians died. That's how they need such. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Do you like? Oh, it, she it, loves it. Look at she. It, I got it, one. I got one. You don't. It's a trick. I got one. There's smallpox all yeah, over that. Yeah, smallpox <laughs> all over it. <laughs> you idiot. And you look like Pocahontas. So I don't know much about it. So I know that it has to do with pilgrims, and it has to do with Indians. Yeah. And they um, tricked them. They tricked them. They said, "Hey, let's have a dinner," and the Indians were like, uh, uh, "Wonderful, let's eat." Well, let's not make fun of them. No, no, no. I'm doing that's. <laughs> I know, but it, people are getting sensitive. Okay, they go, let's... <laughs> do do a different accent. For Indians? Yeah, yeah, For the Native Americans. Do the Punjab Indian for that. The tot, 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 do those Indians. The settlers came over. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, uh, we'd like to trade with you, and we'd like to dine with you on this glorious day. Mm. And the Native Americans were like, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Why yes, don't we sit down and have a meal? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And the and the Western Euro European men were like, have these blankets to keep warm because uh -huh. it gets cold at night. Mm. And inside they speckled smallpox. I get it. Smallpox was COVID back then. Right. Same thing. It was like skin aids. Skates. Yeah, skates. Yeah, it was. For sure, yeah. And the Native Americans were the Native Americans were taken advantage of and their land was stolen. And that's why we eat pumpkin pie. Right. It kind of all makes sense. When you when you grew up in a family that doesn't know that history, yeah, and then November comes around, yeah, there's just a bunch of fucking confusion going on. It's panic. It's like because they don't know how to do it, so they my dad will go get chicken, <laughs> right? But they kind of looks like a chicken. I know. Still, he would get chicken. They would take white Wonder Bread bread mm -hmm. and just crumple it up. That's the stuffing. That's close, right? And then he would use some sort of like. Korean like sauce, like kimchi sauce. I love kimchi and sauce. Pour it, pour it over. Gochujang. Yeah, gochujang. Right. That's so good. So good, right? And he put that on chicken and white bread. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. He goes happy Thanksgiving. Happy right? Thanksgiving. Right, and then we would eat it, and then that's and then the beatings would start. Right after you ate, we would get drunk, <laughs> and then the beatings would start. But if you ate turkey, and we would run around, ay 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 ay, and he would he had a blow bow and arrow. It was it was so scary. <laughs> 
<laughs> Rhonda, <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was so you know scary. what? But if you add turkey, uh, it has tryptophan in it, which you gets sleep. you which you tired. So then he right. could hit you to sleep. Mm. Then if he hit you, you're already out. Yeah. Do you have Thanksgiving in the Philippines? She doesn't know anything about no. it. What, what do you know about it that you've learned from school? We've given such an inaccurate description for the fans. That's not really what happened. What really happened on Thanksgiving was... A joyous occasion. A joyous occasion, and nobody was taken advantage of, nobody was hurt. Um, it was, you know what I mean? It was just a homies kicking it. it Jules, it, what do you know about Thanksgiving? What do you know about it, really? I just know that there's always turkey, there's always pumpkin yeah. pie. Yeah. Yep. And people just eat until they get fat. Yeah. Mm, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's right of the nose. Yeah, yeah. That's Thanksgiving. Now, what do you know? We're, we're joking around about it, but what do you know about the history of how it was found, how it started? Do you know? Um, not really. <coughs> well, you have to imagine. I'm still she confused. Grew up, yeah. yeah. Asians don't say bless you? No, we don't. <laughs> do, do Asian people not say bless you? No, no, no. Wait, why? Because, it, especially when it's a COVID cough. That was a sneeze. Whatever it is. Asians don't say bless you? When we're scared, we don't. Oh, you're scared? Yeah, yeah. All right. We don't when we're scared. What do you, uh, have you ever said bless you? It's not something that comes to mind, no. Why not? Somebody sneezes, what do you think? I just move on with my life. <laughs> but like, because you... when, when Asians sneeze, we always, we wore the masks. Wada chua! Wada chua! Bro, do it in the Indian accent. Wada <laughs> chua! <laughs> There we go. It doesn't seem as racist. Wait a minute. When you have a mask on. We've always, like, people sneeze. Asians sneeze all the time. You sneeze as well. Cute sneezes, though. <laughs> and then we giggle. Yeah. <laughs> right? And then, yeah. yeah. But, and then we do a peace sign. But do you ever say bless you when somebody sneezes? Um, in the Philippines, we never do it. And then when I came here, it's really weird. That's what that's what I'm saying. We never did it growing up as well. Do you know the etym do you know why we do that? You know what the etymology of that is? No, I don't know what the etymology of it is, no. Because you stop your heart stops for a second. Like you stop breathing. You phys you're physically your heart just stops for a second. Mm. And so people religious decided that you say bless God bless you. God bless you. Uh -huh. To make sure you're okay. I assume many I've never seen anyone die. A guy did die. One probably one guy one in the guy. history of the world have died. Sneezed himself to but death. But also a guy from the history of the world probably died from hopscotching. Well, a few men have died from and hopscotching. And no one says bless you when they hopscotch. Well, because that's your own risk. Now, my, point is, my point your own is, risk. is that hopscotch if your it own happened risk. like a thousand times a year, then I guess the bless you would mm -hmm. like, you know. It's a courtesy. Okay. Bless you. Thanks. <laughs> that's all you wanted? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Yeah, does it feel good? And no. You look so handsome today. Thank you. Yeah, something's You know, skin. I, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what it really was. What is it? Um, I received really good news, and uh, we'd like to announce it on this show. Well, I, I, re I received the same news, and I didn't think... I received the good news, <laughs> I didn't I'd take like it as to announce it. I didn't take it as good. I didn't take it as good. Why didn't you take it as good? I, I, horrifying at first. The idea of that being the a reality? The idea, yeah, yeah, of that. But um, then... Um, it's like um, the Borg. What's the Borg? You don't know what the Borg is? The movie The Borg? No, there's no Borg. You mean the tennis player? Is that what you're thinking of? Bjorn Borg? Bjorn Borg. <laughs> Isn't Disney having a movie about oh. him? The Borg is a race of aliens. What? Where is this at? In the Star Trek universe. Oh, I don't... Uh, I know you don't. I don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now, Star so Trek, in... Star Trek mm. is... Star Trek is Zulu. Spock and Zulu. No, I don't know Zulu who Zulu is. Zulu is wasn't Zulu. Sulu. Oh, Sulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an S? Yeah. <laughs> who what guy was Sulu? The Japan the, the nip. The Asian guy was Sulu. <laughs> yes. Is Sulu a Japanese name? Well, I, I guess in the future in space. in space it is. I just assume they wouldn't make it. Yeah. Name wait, in the original Star Trek characters, mm. can you name them for me? Spock? Bingo. Sulu. Uh-huh. Mike? There's no Mike. <laughs> There's no Mike. There's no Mike. It's not Mike? No, no, no. Spock, Sulu. What's the doctor's name? Scotty. Very good. And what, what did he do on the ship? He beamed everybody up. Engineer. Same thing. Exactly. <laughs> and then uh -huh. there was a woman yeah. named Carla? No. <laughs> Give me a hint. Ahura. Aurora? Yeah, Aurora. Is Ahura. that her name? Aurora? Ahura? Ahura. These dorks would know. They would know. So anyway, Borg from 
Star James Trek. James McCoy. James Bones. M Bones? Yeah. That's a great name. That's great. So anyway, but um, so Kirk. after this, what? And Kirk. Yeah, yeah James Kirk. James Captain D Kirk. Captain James T. Kirk. James T. Kirk? Yeah. What's the T for? Um, oh, what is it? James. What is it? Thomas Kirk, maybe. Anyway, after after the Star Trek, <laughs> yeah, right, the yeah. first group, yeah, there was another show that came along called Star Trek: The Next Generation. I've seen that one. Okay, so name there's me a the black, characters. There's a black guy. Name, in that name one. me the characters. There's one black guy. In that name one. me the characters. Well, the black guy's the black guy's name is Jamal. <laughs> Close. What is it? Jordy. Jordy. Yeah. <laughs> His yeah. name is Jamal. It's Jordy, short for Jamal. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Jordy Laforge. Yes, Jamal engineer. LaForge. He was the engineer. He was an engineer. Right. What else? And there's a black woman, and there's an Asian guy. There was no black woman. Yeah, there was a black woman. Well, yeah, there was Whoopi Goldberg. Play, yeah, but she wasn't uh, like she was like a reoccurring on the show. So what? That works. Fine. What's her name? Uh, Guinan. Huh? Her name was Guinan. Guinan? Yeah. That's a terrible name. Yeah, I know it is. I've never, I've, I've never really paid attention to those these nerd shows. They're not nerd shows. What are you fucking saying shit like that? For? How is that not a nerd show? It's a, it's just a TV show that happens to be in space. About nerd shit. It's not about nerd shit. It's about what science is nerdy. Captain, Captain, <laughs> we must progress unless the Borg all will right, then take us right. over. Anyway, there was a group. <laughs> Dork shit. All right, there was a group. Anyway, there was a there was an alien race in it called the Borg. And was they were they evil? They were bad. Okay. And what they do is they would assimilate cultures. Oh. Right. So they would see a culture and they would just. Destroy them, capture them, and then make them the way they look, you know what I mean? And act the way they do, and they become a part of a collective. They don't have their own identity, right? They have one thought. They're all connected. But they steal people's identity. Well, they take people's individu individuality. Individuality? Individuality. What did I say? Individuality. <laughs> I know that's what I said. Yeah. Let me say it again. Yeah. Individuality. Perfect. Exactly. <clears throat> They would steal their individual <laughs> and and what and what would happen is they would just assimilate and they would all just be one thing. So when the the good news happened, right? It, I felt like there was some assimilation going on, and that that we would have more of these things on planet Earth. But then I thought he did mix it with gook blood, so you know what I mean. <laughs> you may maybe something other something magical would happen. So, but here's the deal. Yeah, let the fans know George's. Wife is pregnant. Uh, and she's Korean, and she's Korean. And George, you guys know what he looks like. So and acts like that plus Korean equals equals what? A Borg? No, <laughs> I don't know. No, I just felt like if George, let's suppose he had a wife. He does. I know, but a wife that was like white and from the country. A good old fashioned like white wife. Yeah, a white, white wife, you know. And her name is Darla. Darla, and she. And I just love you, George. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just yeah, want to yeah, bake for you yeah. and clean the house. And then. Um, She's always sweet. And then they had a baby together, then they would create more Georges. Yeah. But I think he threw in, you know, a wrench in the process, and it might turn out a little different, like a skater kid or something. Well, here's the deal George said. George mm, is having a baby. George is having a baby, and we're kind of happy for him. Are we happy, Rude? Yeah. But he waited three months to tell us. Well, yeah, you're supposed to. Why? Because I think that there's a high level of um, uh, baby deaths before then. But it's not that. That's not why. Yeah, it is. But that's not what he did. Well, you're supposed to wait 10 weeks to tell people because a lot of times there's miscarriages. Right, George? Isn't that why? Yep. But yeah. that's not why he did. Why do you think he did it? Because he wanted to do the fucking Downs test. Oh, uh, to make sure it didn't have it. Yeah. And so the reason why he waited, why? Why, he, why, why he, he didn't tell us before the Downs test is if it did have some sort of... Down syndrome? Abnormality. Sure. That he was going to... He was going to... He was going to circumcise it. No. I get it. No. You, you no, know, no. I was circumcised. <laughs> no, 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 just... How about this? This is better. What is that? He's going to take it out to eat? No, 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 no. <laughs> you know? I don't, I don't know. I get, uh, yeah. Vacuum? He's going to vacuum? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we're happy that George we're is happy. having a kid. And George, we said, George said we could. It's a boy, by the way. 
Oh, it is? Yes. We get to name it. Isn't that the fact? That's, in fact, the truth. So all the fans, I want you guys to, <laughs> we uh, get to name it. comment, and the most common name, George will be forced to name the kid. And think about this. Think about how detrimental it would be if George doesn't name the kid what we want. Yeah. He gets fired from this show. He gets fired from Belly. Tiger Belly, Belly. yeah. He, he actually loses his company. Yeah. Because Bryce, his partner, yeah. which, oh. sketchy, skeptical, yeah. um, it we, could be Bryce's baby. Who it knows? could be. Oh, the scandal. controversy. Scandal. Oh, it could be. Could it, George? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's tall. Do you have names picked out, George? Let me uh, guess. There's a dispute. There's Let a me dispute. guess. You're okay, just looking at you. Malachi's one. That's my cousin's name. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone from Children of the Corn. Jebediah. Right. Right. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Any of those? He's hard right now. N- n- <laughs> just comes coming out of his dick. He's he. George looks like a farm kid, and his kid is going to look like a little half Korean farm boy. Yeah, but see, here's the thing: when you mix in Asian, though, when white and Asian mix, what do they look you, like? Anything can happen. Right. I've seen disasters happen. Steve Byrne is Irish, and and but that it could happen. That could happen. He's as a well. handsome dude. It could turn out to be. Very handsome. Yeah, he's handsome. Yeah. Who's the other side of the spectrum? Uh, I don't want to name any names. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Just for fun. I, 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 I honestly don't know them because I, I refuse to meet them. Right. When I see them. Mm-hmm. I'll see them at the show. Like, I'll do a show, comedy show. Sure. And I'll see a mixed kid, right? Yeah. And the, the mix went the other way, <laughs> right? Right. And I might go from afar, like, you know what I mean? But I won't shake the hand. Who is it? The name. I don't know anybody personally. Uh, yeah. But I think you do. Do I know a half Asian kid? No, there's that kid. Um, what's that stand-up comedy? His name is Tatar, Tataki. Um, KT Tatara. That's him. KT Tataki. Uh, he's handsome. He is? Yeah. Yeah, he is. But here's what it can go wrong. Elliot Rogers. <laughs> you know who Elliot Rogers is? <laughs> Do you know who that is? Yeah. Yeah. They come out weird. Yeah, like one eye is high. Like, Not only that, it's just the mixtures of the bad races, maybe. Like, mm. maybe Elliot Rogers had, like, the fucking kamikaze <laughs> Asian blood. Right. And then also the Jeffrey Dahmer Asian blood. Mm. I'm white blood. White blood, yeah. And you mix them together, and oh. it'll shoot up people in Santa Barbara. Right. Or Ojai. Ohio. Anywhere up there. Yeah, yeah. Anywhere mountain towny. But usually they they turn out to be very handsome. They can. Yeah. George, we'll see. Honestly, uh, it's a 50-50 with George cuz you never know. He's got some qualities that I go, "Oh, he's not bad." And then he's got other qualities where I go, "Very bad. Very bad." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Absolutely yeah. very yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah, very bad. Will you babysit, Jules? Will you babysit? I'm not good with kids. Right. Yeah. Why, like, why would I even? I've cor- I knew well, that. Well, I mean, she, she has younger siblings on her. You know, she has younger siblings. I'm not going to name their names, right? But I feel like there is a. Do you miss them? I always go. Do you miss them? It's like, no, not really. Why don't you? Why aren't you good with kids? You don't like kids at all. No. Wow. Yeah. Do you ever? <laughs> oh my God. I know. You don't like little babies. You don't think they're cute. Um. Uh, yeah, they're not cute. <laughs> So do you never want to be like you never want do you do you think one day you might think you might want to be a mom or never? Never. 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 God Why? I, I hope she sticks to no, that. Not, she won't be. You never but know. But she could be like Kalila and Kalkuinda, her sister. Plenty of women decide very young that they don't want to be a mother. Yeah, Kalila just I've been asking her for fucking twelve hours a day, every day. You know what I mean? Now that George beat me to it, it hurts. It's like I've been asking, I go, Can we have a baby? And she's like, Not with you. Because she'd have to have sex with you. And no, that, she has sex with me. Nope. Y- yeah, she just doesn't let me. No, 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 no. <laughs> she just. just <laughs> no, 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 no. Nobody wants to think that through. Everybody thinks yeah, that's yeah, gross yeah. as shit. She doesn't want me to unload it inside her. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey. You know what I mean? So you think, do you think in 10 years, when I ask you in 10 years when you're almost 30, you'll still say no? Yeah. I don't think so. Maybe, what, what, is maybe the, not. what is it? Why do you think you feel that way? I just hate them. No, no, no. no. You, but your mom had five. That's why. That's hate. why she hates them. Didn't your mom have five? Yeah. Yeah. Five. Like, pop, 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 five. <laughs> yeah. Five of them. That reminds me. I watched a documentary about yesterday about the Great Barrier Reef and about the green sea turtles. They swim. There are other documentaries. <laughs> they swim all the way to this place called Rain Island, 
and and these big turtles, and they they poop out. They they had a close up of the sack mm. of the the birth sack, and they were pooping out these little eggs, and she has twenty of them. 20 kids and then the turtles have to go back to the ocean and their flippers are so heavy their bodies are so heavy mm. it takes them forever and there's a traffic jam there's too many so what happens some of them think they're going to take a shortcut mm. and then there's jagged rocks and they just fall down the jagged rocks and they end up on their back they i mean you so they show one just crack its head oh. and its flippers are keeping it's like and the other ones are like you see you should have waited and it reminded me of when you know when there's two lanes, and you're driving, yeah. and and everyone's in the one lane because you know it merges into one. Yeah. And there's guys that are going up the right hand side because they want to sneak in. Uh -huh. You know those people? Yeah. I hate those fucking I'm one people. Of those. I hate you. Okay. Uh, you are the turtle that falls off the rock, <laughs> thinking yeah. he's gonna get ahead. Let me ask you. And this. we're all waiting and going. See, you just gotta wait. Are That's you it. One, are you one of those? Right. Let's say you're in a lane. Yeah. Right. And this car desperately yeah. wants to go into your lane. He, she's blinking. Maybe she's like a... She's going like this? Can I, yeah, can I get in? Can right? I get in? What do you do? Do you do what I do? And go like... This is what... <laughs> Window up. Yeah, yeah. I do this move. I'll look. So you be the lady. Okay. Can I, can I get in? <laughs> and I just go Straight for it. Straight ahead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ignore. Yeah, I ignore. I do ignore. You let them, have you ever let them in? No. Yeah, me either. Never. I ignore them the same way I ignore. You know when you get to a, an off ramp on a freeway and there's a homeless guy there with a sign and yeah. he stares right at you. Yeah. So you're you're the homeless guy and wave to me like you're trying to get my attention. Ready? Go ahead. Hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, I've done that too. I've done that too. Hey, right, right. Uh, or, nope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. What I'd like to do is I like to count my money. <laughs> I do. <laughs> They go, hey, and I just, windows rolled up. They I just like count a, my money. Go, one, yeah, sec yeah. one second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I just drive through. Yeah. Or well, here's another thing. I like, I'll take a star, like a, like a Starbucks, like napkin. Mm -hmm. that's just laying around the car. Yeah. And I'll roll it. I'll just throw it out the window. <laughs> and they get really excited. <laughs> God damn it. hundred. And then they look it up. It's just a Starbucks. They don't like it. That's so mean. Yeah, I know, but I do it. Sometimes. Uh... Yeah, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? Sometimes I, uh. Sometimes I'll, I'll a homeless guy will come up. And, yeah. Oh yeah, do you, do you yeah. have any change? Yeah. And I usually I keep a cup, a big cup of change in my center console. Yeah. And I roll in the window, and go come here, and I let them get close, and I hit them in the face <laughs> with all the change. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what scam I Look don't at Rudy. like? Rudy, we're kidding. We don't we're do kidding. this. We don't do that. This, this episode, episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. I love Blue Chew so much, Andrew. Yeah, baby. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. That's right. I use this, and it it tastes good, right? Mm -hmm. It does taste good. It does. It right? actually does. And then I bang good. You bang good. Yeah, I bang very good. The little slept king, he gets his little his little tiny little slept king up, yeah. and he bang, 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 yeah. bang, 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 bang. Uh, you can take them anytime, day or night, full stomach, empty stomach. It doesn't really matter. It is so easy to use. Blue and it enhances is the performance. Blue prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in a line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package, Andy. That's right. They're made here in the U.S. of A. They ship direct, and they're cheaper than a pharmacy. There's no awkwardness. So look, if you're having a little bit of uh, you know trouble and you want to make sure that you're uh, standing up tall and saluting at a high note. Visit BlueChew.com and get your first shipment for free when you use the promo code BADFRIENDS. Bad friends. Just pay five bucks for shipping. Again, that's BlueChew, B-L-U-E Chew.com, promo code BADFRIENDS to try it for free. BlueChew is the better, cheaper choice, and we thank them for sponsoring the pod. Okay, remember, when you support our sponsors, you help make this podcast possible. Please be sure to use our promo code BADFRIENDS at BlueChew.com. BetterHelp! I'm telling you right now, BetterHelp has saved my life during the pandemic. Same. Um I've never done therapy before, and I use BetterHelp, and now my life has completely changed. It's so easy to use, and it's so affordable. It really is. It's, it's not a crisis line. It's, it's not. It's, it's, it's not self-help. It's professional counseling, you guys. And we've talked about this before. Yeah. Everyone's going through something. You don't know what other people are going through. Uh, BetterHelp is a great way to access from the comfort of your own home to speak with somebody privately and professionally and to you help you. And start communicating in under 48 hours. Yeah, it's incredible. Right? The service, is, the service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. Yeah, it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling, by the way. And financial aid is available if you need it. 
We're not messing around when we say it. It's a comedy show, but yeah. we both use it. We both love it. You should talk to someone if you need it. Don't feel weird about it. It's really, really wonderful. Um, you can go to uh, betterhelp.com slash reviews and uh, visit and see all of the people that have enjoyed it. Go to betterhelp.com slash badfriends. That's help, H-E-L-P, betterhelp.com slash badfriends. Join over one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. All right, special offer for Bad Friends listeners. 10% off your first month, Bobby, oh my God. at BetterHelp.com slash... Bad Friends. That's BetterHelp.com slash... Bad Friends. You know what scam I don't like? What? And it gets me every fucking time. I ran out of gas. No. Oh, which one? It's when you go to a 7-Eleven, mm-hmm. and you know you have the homeless people that want to do a job for your fucking dollar. Like what? Like what? Like, like open the door for you. Oh, yeah. Y- you know? No. And then when they open the door, you're just like... And then when I leave, I have to give them the money. Yeah, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. They did a job. In Chicago, I don't know if they don't do this out here. I've never seen this. In in a lot of metropolitan cities, not Los Angeles, they'll take Windex and newspaper and wash your window. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't do that out here for some reason. But in Chicago, they'll do it and you got to go, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen I don't that. want it. Yeah, yeah. And they'll do I've it and then that. they're like, no, 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 real quick. And you're like, fuck. And then yeah. you have to give them money. Yeah. So you know what my thing is? I, I like giving homeless people money. All jokes aside, I do give money to the homeless. Yeah. Um, I usually give the most money to people that are like doing uh, a thing. Yeah. If you're begging, I'll mm. give you money. Okay. You're begging, I'll give you a dollar. You need money. Okay. Fine. People that like in New York, especially uh, singing, piano, drum. The kids that play the fucking drums, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give those kids twenty bucks. Right. Because I think that's incredible. Yeah, they're they're working hard. They're lugging that shit around town. Just sitting and going, please help. It's like, okay, fine, yeah. But the kids that like make something and try to do something to make money, I will always give them more money. Yeah. Because I think that's I think that's, you know, they're trying to make money. <laughs> yeah. I don't like when homeless people ask for a specific dollar amount. Can I have $3.86? Yeah, I need 1995. <laughs> and you're like, um, you know what I mean? Like yeah. th- then they, then you think they have a specific thing they want to buy. Yeah, crack. Yeah, crack. Right. Yeah, they have just an, they have a crack counter, and they go, "I've got twelve dollars and eighty eight cents. Yeah, <laughs> I I need another eight, yeah. you know seven sixty five to get the crack rock I need." You know what I always thought? Yeah. When a crack addict asks for money, uh-huh. right? Imagine instead of giving them money, you, you give, give them, them crack. crack. <laughs> you know how happy they would be? So fun. Because they then the, the, like half their work is done. What if that guy? What if that day the crack addict was finally quitting crack? <laughs> He was like, "All I need is a yeah. hundred dollars. Yeah. I can get this uh, this hotel rented for the night. Right. I'm gonna clean up. I'm gonna shave. Yeah. I, I I got myself a suit. I'm gonna go tomorrow morning get a job. Yeah. And he's like, "All I need is a couple bucks. <laughs> you give him a huge crack rock. <laughs> yeah, and then they die. Hey, Bob. Oh, no, no, no. They don't they die. Don't die. Oh. They just, you know, they go oh, back they in a crack. Going. They keep going. I always give to the homeless. Cause, you know, what my mom used to do. Mm. They really there was there's a thing called Streetwise in Chicago. It's a newspaper, the Chicago Tribune." This is why I like it. It's work ethic for homeless people that are like, they want to do something to, to give them purpose as well as make money. So they go to the Tribune in the morning, they get a stack and they pay a dollar for them and they sell them for two. So they keep a buck. Mm. And my mom bought one every day when I was a kid. I always saw, if, whenever there was a guy selling Streetwise, she'd buy it. And it's Aww. and it's comprised by um, uh, people from the homeless community that have contributed stories and stuff over time. Anyway, my mom always bought a streetwise, and she was like, they had to get up, they had to go all the way to the Tribune, they had to, they had to have capital to pay for it, right, and then make a profit. So this, that's entrepreneurs, man. In LA, we've got the worst homeless problem I've ever seen in my entire I mean, life. I, I can't even. I, it breaks my heart. It's gotten so bad. Honestly, it's so bad now. They had to put porta potties all over under the freeway because they were pooping in the street, uh, dude. There you know, was poop you know, I lived under on, the bridge. I lived on Beachwood, right? Yeah. So you know that bridge on like Gower? Gower, yeah. It's right? a Gower bridge, yeah. It's now a city. I know. It's, it's a, an underground dystopian city. I know. They, they're putting a homeless Ralphs on it. They're doing... Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. They still have a Starbucks. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, that's the reason why we moved. Yeah, because it's, it's crazy because over there. Every time I would drive by it, I'd be like, "It's getting closer." Yeah, and I, I have empathy and sympathy for that. Of course, right? we're kidding around we're when kidding we joke around, around when we say it, right? But get a fucking job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. No, but I um, and I, but it's it got to the point where you would walk out of the house and people would be like, "Yeah, my car just got broken into," but it would happen every day. Yeah, something would happen every day in your neighborhood. In my neighborhood, and you—that was that's a nice neighborhood. It used to be. 
I'm saying just right up that Beachwood, though. Oh, it, yeah, it's it, you go oh, up hundreds further of up millions there, of dollars. Like Brad Pitt, yeah, all right? These people live up there, but right there on Franklin and Gower and Gower in that yeah. area, it's turning into a fucking dystopian disaster. Because it's all the stuff. It's all the homeless that from Hollywood. They go up there because it's safer and nicer up there. They don't want to be in the street at night where yeah. they can get you know. Look, like, dude, you have to think if you're homeless. Other, you're worried about other homeless people who are going to steal your shit, mm. right? Fuck with you, mm. try to rob you, hurt you. So y- you just want to get away from that shit too. So yeah. you got to go up more where there's, you know, t- that you feel safer at. I, 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 that it's, dude, it's honestly, it's gotten so sad and bad in LA. It's, it's like too, a little what too much. Do? Well, here's the what problem. Do you, do? you want me to give you the, the political problem? They try to create this thing called like um, something key. There was a program where unused hotels, because of COVID, they were they got a grant from the government uh-huh. to put homeless people in these hotel rooms to try to like give them a better start back. Right? Yeah. There's shelters downtown. They're, they try, but they found out that that hotel thing was they were taking a bunch of fucking money. Who was the hotels? The, the uh-huh. these hotel investors were stealing money. They were getting huge grants from the government. Like PPP and loans. they wouldn't do it? They wouldn't put homeless people in there? They would only do a certain percentage. Uh-huh. And, then they, and then some of them outright stopped. So they're going to get sued. You know, mm. it's so funny. You only hear about this stuff way after it's over, but they can't do shit about it. Do you know what the Woolsey fires are? Mm-mm. There was the fires, the, the fires that were up north earlier. Remember the big fires that we had this summer? Mm-mm. We burn every year, Bob. Okay, but just I, I believe you. All right, so there were these things called the Woolsey fires. If you say so. There was. <laughs> ah! People lose their homes. People die. It's crazy, yeah, right? I In know, California, I, know, I see it. I saw this thing about the Woolsey fires. SoCal Edison, our our electric company, they're getting sued because they finally did all the research and found out, investigating, that it was their fault at the fires. You know, every year they blame it on someone smoking or... Right. No. It was the fucking electric company. Had a faulty tower. Gzz, caught. And, and they did it. Yeah, it was their fault. My God. So they're getting sued now. But this is the problem. You hear about it, too, it's too late. Mm. It's over. And then you see a movie, like like someone will write a movie about it. Yeah. Right, like um, 20, Aaron, Aaron Brock- Brockovich. Brockovich. Yeah, right? it's too late. And then 30 years later, we watch it go, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> yeah, it did right? or it's over. Oh, wow, what a controversy. I want to do something about yeah. it. Yeah. Well, they're all dead. Yeah, they always make movies like that. Mark, uh, what's his name? Ruffalo has a new movie like that, something about water. I saw it. It's about, all the same. About water? Dark water? It's about, what's it called? Dark water? Is it about water? Dark water. Dark water. Yeah, but he's in what's it, What's right? it about, Andres? Yeah, he's, he's in it. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I, t- I swear to God, I just yeah, the reason why I don't because they, they, these kind of movies come out every year, so I don't know what the problem is. What's is dark? It, is it, it is about a lawyer. All right, that's yeah, that's it. That's I fine. Mean, that's I mean, enough. I mean, it's about a lawyer <laughs> who will be uh, at it's and I, again. I will down. It's about a lawyer who used to defend chemical companies, uh, and um, until a neighbor of his mother uh, tells him, "Look, because of these uh, companies, my land uh, is completely poisoned. My cattle is." <laughs> Yeah. Right, and right. That's a movie executive. Like, yeah, that's his pitch in the movie executive. <laughs> <laughs> we love it. <laughs> um, you know what that kind of sounds from? That sounds like uh, uh, we talked about this. Oh. Uh, the devil we know. What? You didn't see that documentary? I thought we talked about that. That's the most sad shit on Dude, earth. Remind me because I see so many documentaries. I think we talked about it on this show what, one devil, time. What, what? The devil we know is about um, uh, uh, Teflon. About Teflon. And how about how 3M created Teflon? And the people on these farms, they found it. that the cows' tongues would fall out yeah, of their I saw fucking it. heads. I saw it, yeah. Dude, cr- crazy. Teflon is in everyone's blood around the world ex- up until um, soldiers from the Korean War. That's how far back mm. Teflon is in your blood. I remember that documentary. Because it was on pans, it was jackets, shirts, hats, coat. Everything you own had Teflon on it. That mm. That's kind of the same thing. That's the Andres, the same thing. Mm-hmm. By the way, speaking of great television, my TV show Davey got uh, a nomination for Goth of a Gotham Award. God. It did. Congratulations. I know. I, I don't even know what that wa- was. I heard about it today. What is a Gotham? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I just heard it and I said, "Awesome." Yeah. And then and then I didn't research what it is. Yeah. Maybe Bruce Wayne gives yeah, the award Batman or whatever. Gives it. What is it? Is it a New York award? No, I have no idea. I just thought Batman would give it that award or something. Yeah, I just did. The, I just did the Bru- uh, Bruce Wayne <laughs> joke. Yeah, but no. I did, that, I, I did the Bruce Wayne joke, and then you did the fucking Batman hey, joke hey, after hey, that. Hey, 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 that's no, two, that's, 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 two different jokes. It's the same guy, though. It's not the same guy. Bruce Wayne and Batman are two completely separate entities. 
I know, but they're same human doing both roles. Incorrect. What the, what the fuck is fucking <laughs> Batman then? Exactly. Ah, uh, I get what you're doing. Who is Batman? So le- next time, <laughs> I, uh, next time, dude, just listen to me. For you don't listen to me. Did I? Who said that? Did this, did I say Bruce Wayne first? You did. You did. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you had the That's joke the first. Thank you. He's trying to step on your jokes lately. I know he is. What do you I, think I that is? There is a thing because when he, when I even came in here, uh-huh. you know what I mean. He he gives you like a like a lot like a a lot of warmth. He's warm with me. With me, he's very cold prickly. <laughs> I'm like, what's up? This he's like, I did it. I did it. Yeah. You know what I mean, it took me forever. It took me forever. Did with say- you, it's like welcome, <laughs> welcome, Andrew. Because that maybe it's because I thank him often. Thank you, Andres. Andreas. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll, I'll tell you why I don't like Thanksgiving. I have to tell the story. Um, is I've never had a really good Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. Every time I get invited, I'm always invited to Thanksgiving meals. Like, especially when I've been I've been in L.A. Like hours into the meal, it's already over. Yeah, they'll call me and go, "Hey, I don't know what you're doing, but we just thought of you. Yeah, we're, we're doing this thing." So one time, Paulie goes, "This is years ago." Paul, he goes, I swear to God, he goes, <laughs> my brother and I were like playing FIFA. We're like at his, my brother's house playing FIFA. Yeah. And I, I was like, let's see what restaurants are open. I was going to just buy my brother a meal or whatever. And Paul, he goes, dude, the family's here, bro. I go, yeah. My mom's here, dude. And she's asking about you, bro. And I go, yeah, but I, he's like, dude, you got to come. My mom's asking. You know, this is when Mitzi was. I, my dad can't. died. Oh, that's when that comes out? Yeah, my dad's dead. That's oh, what yeah, I, I forgot saying. to tell you, my dad died. Oh, no. I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you would think that you would open with that fucking excuse. No, save it. Save the dad oh. died. I got to get out of here. My yeah, dad's dead. Yeah, yeah. And okay. they're like, oh, wow. Dad died. Dad died. Next time. Yeah. You can use dad died stuff. You know you can use that for a lot of stuff. What, it's And it's also not a lie now. It's real. Yeah, I can get my dad died. Check it out. And then later, like, your dad died a year ago. Yeah, but he died. He's still dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asshole. How about this? Homeless guy? Hey, man, do you have any change? Hey, bud, my dad died. Make him feel bad. (laughs) That's a good one. Right? Yeah. Hey, Starbucks, you know, or like at a restaurant when they see you and the tip and the tip thing, you know, you know, they can see on the computer the percentage. Yeah. And it starts at 15, 18, 20. Yeah. You know, and you no tip. And they look at you and they go, whoa. And you go. My dad died. <laughs> what if the homeless person, they always have a story. Right. That's what I thought you were going to say before when you say they usually come up to you and they say at a gas station, they go, hey, I just need um, six bucks for gas right. to get home to the thing. And it's not so, true. But even sometimes it's even an awful story. Like what? I was in the nom. Oh, I yeah. was a nom. Oh. And I had a wife and two babies. Mm. And... I drank a lot because of numb or because of the PTSD. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, and um, one night, the house was on fire. Did you set the house on fire? I don't know what happened, man. Was it SoCal you Edison? You weren't there, man! <laughs> right, they always say that. <laughs> they always say you weren't there. This is terrible. And it, well, it, 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 <laughs> so mean. I know, but I want you to fucking you say, my dad died at the end. <laughs> I know, don't ruin it. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> Who set your house? Your house was set on fire. I don't know, fire. man. And I had my baby's carcasses. Oh no! Yeah, I was holding them, but they were burnt like bacon. Man. That's terrible. Hey, anyway, after that, man, uh, the government shut down my funds, man. Oh. I had the insurance ran. Anyway, now, three years later, man, I just need a hot dog. I need a hot dog, man. I'm hungry, man. Yeah. I don't drink anymore. I just need a hot dog, man. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. hey, yeah. My dad died. <laughs> Stop. I would have given him a hot dog. There we go. I'd have given. So I'd in s- that situation, yeah, you don't do the dad dad thing. But let's go back to what we were talking about for real. Yeah, I hate Thanksgiving food. Mm. I've talked about it before. I've mm-hmm. always hated it. It's- oh, guys, guys, talking about Thanksgiving food, like we <laughs> brought. I mean, we brought you guys howdy some- doody fucking bullshit here, man. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah, interrupt uh, fucking uh, comedy speaking, gold here, bud. Uh, speaking of Thanksgiving, a poo. <laughs> I know we're in the midst of it, bud. Well, uh, tell me, Andres, what now is now that you interrupted? Tell us. <laughs> George and I brought you guys a pie, but Jules got you some really authentic Thanksgiving food. What do you have? What do you have? You love it. 
Babel. Oh. Hey, Andrew, I've always wanted to learn a different language, and I always felt, felt like my mind be, wouldn't be able to absorb that kind of inf information, but now it can. we have Babel. We do have Babel. Babel really helps. If you're interested in learning a new language, you know your reason why, and it's maybe it's you want to feel connected to someone close to you, like these two people from different parts of the world, Babel or you want to keep your brain language. sharp. Can I interrupt, may I? Please. Babbel is the language learning method designed to get you speaking your new language within weeks with daily 10 to 15 minutes lessons. It's really easy. Yeah. A, a lot of times learning a new language is tough. You start with words and phrases and then sentences and they get more complex. And soon you're practicing short conversations or yelling at Bobby in Korean, which is my goal by the end of the year. That's what I'm using Babbel for, to learn Korean. I'm doing it. You know that, right? Yeah, I know I am. Are. And I want to yell at you in it, okay? Okay. Their interactive dialogue and speech recognition technology helps to improve your pronunciation and accent so you feel confident when you speak. It's really efficient. It's, it's very cool. It's also, may I interrupt you? It's also created by real language experts, not machine learning algorithms or uh, AI technology. So you learn practical, real-world conversations. Look, 10 million subscriptions have already been uh, uh, sold through Babbel. It is awesome. If you're looking Spanish, French, Italian, German, whatever you want, Babbel is going to help you do it. And right now, they're offering our listeners three months for free with a purchase of a three-month subscription with the promo code Bad, bad friends. friends. Visit Babbel.com and use the promo code Bad, bad friends. friends for a three-month subscription for free when you purchase three months on top of it. That's it Babbel. really works, guys. It does. It does. And I'm going to show you by the end of the year that I'm going to be speaking Korean. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Use the promo code Bad Friends. Babbel, language for life. Hello, Hello Fresh. Fresh. I'll tell you what, Andrew. Yeah? I love Hello Fresh. I love seeing the package outside my house. I love opening it up. And it's very easy to the instructions are very easy. Yes. The recipes are very fresh. I make them and they're really high quality meals. It is. And I, I I just feel a lot of joy when I'm doing it, especially during this pandemic, to get really good nutrients inside my body and really um very um delicious, just fresh meals. Yeah, you like cooking at home. I had the Korean I had the, the Korean tacos the oh, other night, which man. were absolutely delicious, and I ate five of the six. My wife only got one. Too bad, so sad. Yep. I don't care. Her I was loss. very, very hungry. Her loss. Get aggressive. They are delicious meals with fresh ingredients delivered to your door. It's so good. Honestly, I, I was a skeptic of these kind of delivery meal services, and I thought, all right, let me do it. Sometimes it takes too long to cook. Then mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I, don't wanna, I don't have the ingredients. You only need the essentials to cook salt, pepper, and oil. Mm -hmm. And that and butter, yep. and that's it. And you can cook delicious meals uh, for you and your loved ones, two to four people, and honestly, so good, so so good. You guys will not complain. You'll love it. You will love it. You'll yeah. love it very Super much. Super affordable as well. HelloFresh is the first global carbon neutral meal kit company. Yeah, the packaging HelloFresh uses to ship your food in is almost entirely made from recyclable and or already recycled content. Uh -huh. So they're doing good by making you feel and eat good. You guys keep your fridge stocked by adding extra meals or additional proteins, quick meals like breakfast on the go, or their 10-minute lunches. And since they offset their operations, travel, and shipping emissions, HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% lower than store-bought grocery made meals. Yes. That's a fact. That's a fact. And also, I wanted to add, they even have delicious desserts that satisfy the oh, sweet tooth. Oh, they're delicious. Because you know I like sweets. Mm -hmm. So, go to HelloFresh.com yes. slash BadFriends90 and use the code BADFRIENDS90 to get how much? $90 off, including free shipping. That's insane. Go to HelloFresh.com slash BADFRIENDS90 and use the code BADFRIENDS90 to get $90 off, including free shipping. Well, tell us what... Uh, it's a Filipino tradition. Yeah. If it's balut, I'm I'm walking out. Is it balut? Yeah. Let's, let's try. You have to try. We have to try. No way. You I'm, have to try. We have to try. Let's try. I'm gagging right I now. I never had it. I won't do it. Can we open it? No, you no. I'll open it. No. Will you look? Honestly? Be a, don't be a you know what, dude? You can't just You know try. you're a fucking you're a white piece of shit. You're fucking you look down on other people's culture. This is my cultures. holiday. You look down this on is other, my holiday. You look down on other people's culture, dude, and yeah. just and stop being like that. No, dude. this that's what this whole thing is about. Yeah. So give me the balut. Bring, I'm not, bring no. it here. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat don't, don't do be it. a fucking dick, dude. I'm gonna throw up. You're gonna eat it. All right, you're gonna watch me throw up. <laughs> that's fine. We can we'll watch no, it. I'm not up gonna then. I'm not gonna eat it, but that's I, so fucking rude. It's my people, dude. Okay, bring the balut. I'm not gonna eat it. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Oh yeah, my yeah. god. Alright, so uh now honestly, Put it there. where do you get the balut? Put it there. I'm not gonna eat it. You don't touch get it. this at Vaughn's. Where do you get this at? Where did you get it? Oh, right, so you just break this open? Get him over a napkin. Oh yeah, give me a napkin because I've never had this before. Don't be, don't be a dick, dude. No, 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 I'm just not being a dick. Open your heart. I'm gonna take no. my jacket off because I'm sweating for some reason. Okay. Oh god, I'm scared. 
All right, so people for for people that remember, Balut is a Filipino. We yeah. talked about we it talked last. About it. Yeah, yeah. Give me the napkin, right? So you just crack open the top. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let me put this back on. Let me crack open the top. Oh, don't. Oh my Pop, god. It's, it's so hard. It won't crack. <laughs> it won't crack. You can do it on the. Crush it like this. So Oh fuck, this fucking cracked. Okay, that's fine. Then okay. Just do it in the middle. <laughs> Here, yeah, you have to drink the juice and you just... Okay, first I'll, I'll just tell you what it is. This is like um the movie Aliens. <laughs> Remember the movie Aliens? First of all, smell it. Smell it. <laughs> <laughs> smell it. Bro. Bro, give me the garbage can, I'm gonna throw up. Uh, honestly, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. Honestly. Honestly. I'm gonna throw up. Honestly. And I had good ramen. I had ramen that I liked for dinner. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, Oh my god. Alright, alright, all right. So, so, you can the juice. so. So, there's juice all over the place. There's Just balloon try juice. The juice. Oh, I'm gonna all throw right, up. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here. I have to get out of here. I'm gonna throw up. Honestly, that's so fucking gross. <laughs> All right, so. Mm. Fuck. All right, so. I'm gonna what, throw up. What, what is this part? I can't see. Oh god. What is that part? Um, that's the. Um, I think the foot. Oh, that's the foot. Oh, the foot. Oh my god. That's the foot. Just try this yellow. What is the yellow though? I have to know the body part. I don't want to look at it. It's fucking I think, asshole. I think it's, the, it's a yolk part? Yeah. All right, how about this, Andrew? This is my nightmare. I, I know. I'll eat a little bit of this. Yeah. You eat a little. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost threw up now. I don't care. I'm no. going to try. I'm going to throw okay. up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Mm. Oh, God. It's so fucking gross. God, get that the fuck out of here! <coughs> get it out! No, no, try it. No, uh, I'll get it out. Right, let, let, let's open the whole thing now. <coughs> I don't up. think there's any duck there. I'm gonna throw oh, up. Look at, look, dude, look at this part. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's no face. Where's the face at? Oh my god, where did you get this? This is at Vaughn's? Oh, is that the face? Oh my god. Yeah. You should be ashamed. Oh. This is what I get for joking about Thanksgiving yeah, earlier. Napkin, because I have fucking, just fucking duck juice on my fucking... Drench this table, George. It's so not in, good. In, 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 oh it's my so god, in bleach. Yeah, where's the sauce? You have sauce? <laughs> yeah, you forgot? All right. My God, is this the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life? I know. I mean, I'm not even kidding. No, get it away! <laughs> get it away! Eat it. Dude. <laughs> George, get this the fuck away! Not COVID. I gotta get out of the room. Yeah. Oh my God. Please. Are you gonna eat this? Can you eat that? No, you're not going to eat that. No, she'll eat don't, that don't one. Don't eat that. There's the new one. Don't eat it. Here, you know, you here's the stuff. trash can. Oh, my God. I'll be right back. If you had ranch, are you being real? No, I need to wash my hands. Yeah, yeah, me too. Because I fucking coughed into my hands. Me too. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. Rudy, how... How, <laughs> how, much, how much is a blue egg? One dollar, um, no, 25 cents. 25 cents? That's what a little bird's life is worth, 25 cents. Yeah. Rocks are more expensive. By far. Yeah. We, you know what's so funny? We, for people that didn't see the other episode, we talked about Balut. It's a baby duck that they eat in the Philippines, and they just, what do you got? Salt? Salt. Oh, my God. Are you really going to eat it? Yeah. Yeah. 
I, 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 has, how do you know if it's not rotten? I mean, That's it smells I'm... rotten. Is it rotten? I'll try. I don't think so. Oh, you try first, and then if your stomach hurts, <laughs> yeah. then you stop. What the fuck? The Philippines. Uh, that kind of what kind of system is that? I just I can't. And you and do you eat it in one whole bite? Everything, no. Do you eat that? Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's good. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Look, I respect the culture. No, you don't. Uh, no, I do. No, you don't. And you know what I want to say? What? Go I'm ahead. sorry to the Native Americans for what they did. <laughs> what? Yes. Why? I'm getting reflective. Yeah, yeah. Because we we're so sorry. Because what what Western Europeans did to the Native Americans is disgusting, and it's not funny, and it's gross, and this is giving me perspective. <laughs> Let me ask you something. About I don't know why, but really, this is like. In the last of the Mohicans. Yeah. Do you think that if Indians found a white baby, they would raise it as their own? They'd kill it. Exactly. They would yeah, smoke it. They would have killed it. They would have smoked it. They would have killed it. Yeah. Right away. Chief, I found the white baby. What do you think the chip would say? Throw it off the, ch the cliff. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So when I'm watching Last of the Mohicans, I'm like, I don't believe this. It's not real. It's not real. Well, they're trying to say that what it's trying to do is show that, the, that Native Americans are compassionate good-hearted people. Oh, that's what they're doing. And the whites yeah. weren't. Mm. That's the truth. Yeah. The whites came and they were she's like... Not, it's not a bit. She's She likes it. Yeah. It's not a bit. How much have you eaten? She's halfway through. Oh, God. I'm just gonna have one more bit and then bite and then I'm done. Oh, God, you, you can hear it's the a crunching. crunch. You can hear the shell it's crack. Corn flakes? What are you crunching it for? <sighs> oh, my God. I honestly almost threw up. Yeah, it hurt me. It hurt my inside. And you know what? I you know what I was bummed about? We what? made homemade ramen tonight, <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to throw up. It was good ramen. But if that egg was pussy, you would eat it. I mean, the scale of how different that is in, <laughs> in the reality. No, but no. Think about it though. Think about it. you're right. You're like a young twenty, early twenties. You I'm, see a hot chick. I'm not now. I'm. I know, but let's say you are. Oh, when I right? was? When you were in your early 20s, like I was, right? Yeah. And a hot chick, you're at a bar, a hot chick wants to get down, right? Yeah. And then you're hooking up, and you, then, you know, you're eating your vagina or whatever, mm -hmm. and it looked and tasted like that, you would still do it. It never looks like that. I know, but you would do it, though, if it did. You're right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right, hey. Let's about, talk about Jesus. We need to talk about Thanksgiving is the worst food on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. I hate it. Turkey's gross. It's a it's an ugly bird and it tastes bad. Stuffing, not that good. Stuffing, Cran cranberry sauce, not that good. I like cranberry sauce. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Stuffing is fine. Green bean casserole, fine. Never had it. The only thing I love, Hawaiian rolls. What, there's Hawaiian rolls when it comes to Thanksgiving? Hawaiian rolls. Everybody has Hawaiian rolls. No, that's not a part of the culture. You put, you put, your family probably did that. Everybody, didn't you guys do Hawaiian rolls? Yep. Yes. What does Hawaii break bake bread from Hawaii have anything to do with sweet rolls? Fucking... Hawaiian sweet rolls. I know, but that still not wasn't like a hundred years ago. Wasn't yes, they a... did. Really? People been doing. Oh, you mean you mean when settlers Just call them sweet rolls then ha from Hawaii? <laughs> I, I... Everybody knows their Hawaiian sweet rolls. I, I, I just want to get what you're saying. Is is that? Thanksgiving's been around for hundreds of years in this country. How many? I don't know, maybe 200 years. <laughs> okay. What? Go on. You think it's wrong? Yes. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know? Hawaiian, no, sweet, I'm just trying to Hawaiian out. sweet rolls have been around since the beginning. Okay. I'm, 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 sure, I, I, I'm sure Hawaii was like the last states, right? Alaska, Hawaii. The last, last two, of the 50 40, 49, 40, 50. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, before that, when we were 13 states, right? Yeah. They, they didn't even know about fucking Hawaii. And they had probably Thanksgiving back then. They had sweet, they had sweet rolls. They were just from one of the colonies. Okay. When you just say Hawaiian sweet, that's all I want to know. It just sounded weird, but I guess you're right. That's what they're called. All right. Andres, what are the, do they have Thanksgiving in, in, in uh, wherever you're from? 
No. Oh, Spain? We didn't have to meet any pilgrims. Right. You guys were there first. Yeah. Okay, so we have... Andres has prepared something for us, so oh, I, I, I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so since you guys know so much about Thanksgiving, I thought uh, about a game. Let's do some Thanksgiving trivia. Whoever gets three answers right wins. Competition. Okay, See, now you'll perk up. I'm when in. there's a competition, in he's in. All right, let's go. go and ahead. Rudy is a part of this, too. Okay. okay, great. What do we win? You guys can get that turkey that is between the two of you. This one? Yeah. Okay. Take it home. Okay. I that's, always like that guy. That's huge. Yes, yeah, huge. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, when was the first Thanksgiving, Bobby? The very first one? Yeah. Whoever gets it right, um, closest... <laughs> Yes, the closest. 1847. Uh, 17. Well, 1776 was the declaration. So let's say, uh, let's say, uh, 1788. Rudy? 1782. She okay. just prices right at me. Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I know, whatever's lower. Yeah. yeah. You guys what were is... so, so good. Uh, the first is given was in 1621. She won. Yeah, because she prices right at me. <laughs> she prices so, right. so now you yeah, have to yeah. go first. She gets to go okay. first. Right. Okay. So, Rudy, how fast can a turkey fly? Ooh. <laughs> um... How fast can a turkey fly? <laughs> 10 miles per hour. Okay. Then who goes next, Bobby or me? Bobby. Bobby? I'll say five miles per hour. Uh, and I will say it's a trick question. Turkeys can't fly. Okay, so Rudy wins again as 55 miles per hour. Turkeys can't fly. They can fly. <laughs> 55 can fly. miles per hour. They're land birds. <laughs> They can't fly. <laughs> well, maybe in Spain. <laughs> yeah, I'm a turkey. I like to fly. <laughs> I'm a pest. Watch me fly. Damn All it. Right. Rudy's won one. twice. I know. It's incredible. How many questions are total? Five. Whoever gets uh, gets three wins. No. Oh, all right. go, 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 <laughs> no, go. five. No. Five, five, five. Yeah, how many questions do you have? I have plenty. Okay, good. Which president made Thanksgiving a national holiday? I only know five. <laughs> I only know five presidents. Who's up first? You. You are. I am. Uh, I'm gonna. Um, who made it a national holiday? Probably uh, Woodrow Wilson. I was gonna say that. <laughs> I swear to God, I was gonna say that. All right, you can say it you with fucker. me. Fucker. All right, say it. With I'm me. not gonna say that. What is it? Um, what president made it a national holiday? I'm gonna say John Adams. Rudy? Uh, if she gets this one, I'm going to be pissed. Uh, Lincoln? <laughs> no, it's he Lincoln. played the slaves. What? Lincoln. <laughs> Rudy, three. Kidding. Are you fucking kidding me? No. I'm going to look. I'm gonna do, I, 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 I got to Google it. I got to go. He is our Google. Bobby it doesn't zero, matter. I don't Andrew believe him. Zero. Right. Uh, what president? Jules, three. Wait, wait. Hold on. What president? He freed the slaves and he made Thanksgiving. Uh, that's incredible. <laughs> made. This guy's got a pretty thick resume. Thanksgiving. Guy's on the penny. <laughs> I can't believe. No, you're, that, you're wrong. So annoying. You're fucking wrong. Fuck you. What is it? Who who made a national holiday? President Roosevelt. Not according to my research. <laughs> okay, I said what president made Thanksgiving a national holiday, right? And it said, um, President Roosevelt. Yeah, let me let me consult here with No, my... Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. Also, the, the yeah, Roosevelt need... did the beheading of the what of the party, part, pardoning. pardoning of the fucking turkey. Pardoning the turkey. Yeah, but Abraham Lincoln made it a national holiday. So this is like tennis. You lose one point. You are mi minus one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, fine. Fine. What's next? What's next? Okay. Which song was originally written for Thanksgiving? Which song was originally written for Thanksgiving? Jingle bells. Silent Night, 
Um, uh, toxic. Britney Spears. <laughs> well, those three. Silent Night. Jingle Bell. Toxic. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle Bell. Oh, wow. Bobby, okay, so one for one. Bobby. I got one? Yeah. Bobby has you, one. You, you are back at zero. Zero, no, zero, no, 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 no. <laughs> the other one's bullshit. You're back at zero. No, I'm not back at zero because I asked a question. You questioned the judge. I'm back at zero? Yeah, you're yeah. back at zero. All right. That's how the game goes, bud. Don't how yell at him. How many different varieties of pumpkin are there? How many different varieties of pumpkin are there? Yep. Who's up first, Bobby? No, Rudy. No, Rudy. I won the. I, I got the last one, so I go first. Okay, you rather Bobby. Go, you, okay, go ahead. Right? No, you idiot. You'd rather go later, because then you can hear what other people say. But I'm going last now. Okay, good. You fucked up. How many varieties of pumpkin are there? Yeah. Five. I got it. What is it, Rudy? Ten. Sixteen. Okay, this one is for Andrew, but it's 45. There's 45 varieties of pumpkin? Well, because gourds. You got to think about gourds. Oh, gourds. I forgot the gourd family. Those are pumpkins. I didn't know that. I don't, I don't know if that's true, but I'm, make, I'm saying asparagus, it. Asparagus, is that a pumpkin? Same thing, okay. asparagus. All, right. all nightshade vegetables. <laughs> all right, Eggplant. All right. All right. So, okay. one, zero, three. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Okay, well, which professionals <laughs> are the beasties during the Beastie Boys? Which Beastie Boy is the coolest? Which yeah. professionals are the beasties? Hello Nasty. That's my favorite one. <laughs> <laughs> License to ill. Wait a minute. W say it again. Which professionals are the beastiest? During Thanksgiving. <laughs> Which professionals are the busiest during Thanksgiving? What professionals are the busiest during Thanksgiving? Hookers. Okay. No, uh, that's not my answer. That's your answer. No, it's not. You can, even as it's a joke, you can't just throw it out there. The show is a joke show. Well, I gotta true. make jokes. That's true. Go ahead. Um, my real answer is pilots. Wow, that's a good one. Okay, Rudy. Pilots. Farmers. Farmers, good. Farmers, a good one. Two goods. Can we get three good answers? Male men. Male men and women. And male X. Male male X. <laughs> male X. Male X's. Yeah. <laughs> Plumbers. Because Plumber. people are pooping and clogging the toilets. Is that real? It is real. What did it say? Why? <laughs> yes, probably because people eat a lot and then shit a lot. I guess that's interesting. I guess that's interesting. Yeah. So I guess the closest was uh, Rudy. Because uh, she said farmers, and it is something related to food. No, so. no, 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 that's, no, not, no, that's, that's not, not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> that's not it. That's okay. not it. That's How not many fair. questions do you have? This is fun. I have plenty. He's okay, got a lot. I saw the list. It's a lot. Okay, so Rudy, what is the name of a baby turkey? Balut. You just ate it. <laughs> no. You evil, you evil <laughs> Filipino girl, you. Um. It's got to be a time limit. <laughs> Baby turkey. <laughs> okay. It's a very good guess. Bobby? Tiki's. <laughs> tiki? Yeah, Tiki's. Uh, I'm going to say baby turkeys are called Turk Turk. <laughs> Oof. What it's, is it? The real answer is Polt. Huh? P O L T. Paul? Polt? P O L T? P O P O U L T. Polt. Pult. Never, heard, so, of that. Never heard of that in my yeah. life. We got to check this guy's sources. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. We couldn't get an American okay. to ask which, this question. Which NFL team traditionally hosts an annual Thanksgiving Day game? The Washington Redskins. Again. <laughs> <laughs> the Washington Redskins. Cowboys. Rudy? I don't know any NFL team. Just throw one out there. Make up a name. Give me a city and then just do the city and make up a name. Red Washington. You can't do what he did. I just did that. <laughs> oh, what did you say? I said Washington Redskins. You can't oh. say the same answer. You can't say Red Washington. Blue Nevada. Blue, Blue Nevada. Nevada. That's good. They were great. They were champions five years ago. They were? Yeah, the Blue okay. Nevadas. Blue Nevadas. This one goes to Andrew. Why? Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Is it Dallas? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So two for me, three for Rudy. Zero for me. Zero for Bob, of course. <laughs> okay. What percentage of Americans eat turkey during Thanksgiving? Wow. You go first. Uh, me? It's me first? Yeah. Um, 78. I'll go. 90%. Um, 95%. Oh. Okay, it's 88, so Bobby wins. One. Wait, why did Bobby win? And I won. 
I said 90%. And it's 88. It's 88. Oh, it's 88. Yeah. But he's over. You can't be over. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't matter. No, that's whoever's close. Every as game fuck show you. you can't go over. No, it's not. It's not this is not the Price is Right. Every game show you Only can't go Price over. Only Price is Right. That's like you that. You can't go over. No, no, I'm closest. I get a fucking point. Fuck you. Let's ask the judge. Yes, Bobby Thank gets you. a fucking point. So I get a point. So it's what you have? How many? Three. Three. Two. Two. Three. I have three. Two. two, two one. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay. I know. I'm answering the next one. Yes, first you are. Okay. So, 102 passengers set uh, sail on the Mayflower. How many arrive in America? You're up first. 101. Bob. Okay. Andrew. 68. Okay, and Rudy. 52. Wow. So Bobby wins. It's 102. Nobody died. <laughs> yes. One We're tied. Percent. Fuck this. How did nobody <laughs> die? We're tied. Fuck this. How no did one nobody died? die? It was a beautiful ship. No, no. Wait a second. It was a Trump built ship. Beautiful. Per Perfect. Trump built it. Yeah. I built the Mayflower. Die. When they came over here, <laughs> not only did nobody die, somebody was born. Exactly. So we, That's we true. Did you hear that? Yeah. So go ahead. Was it 3 2 2, right? Yep. Ask three, away, two, I'm two. next. Damn. No, you already were first that time. No, whoever wins gets the first answer. Fine. Who celebrates Thanksgiving on the second Monday of October? The second Monday of October. Canadians. Okay. October? Who celebrates Thanksgiving? You know what? No. Why'd you raise your hand? Um, <laughs> because I want to go first. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Go. Um, Jews. <laughs> wow. That's well, definitely. Well, that's the show. <laughs> We're canceled. Well. <laughs> well, Jews. <laughs> oh my God, oh my Rudy. God. Yeah. Who celebrates? Why would Jews? So what? That's I, I, where did that crazy, even come it's from? It's crazy. But go ahead. Uh, the second Monday of October. Who celebrates? It's a funny it? answer, though. Very funny. Who celebrates it? Second Monday of October. Native Americans. And Rudy wins again. Jews. No, no, no. Really, <laughs> Canadians. Bobby. Bobby wins. Do I really? Canadians? Yep. Fuck yeah. Three. So, so three, two, three, three, back. three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Here we okay. go. Now it's on. Which character of Friends? I don't know any of them. Got Good. his or head, her head is stuck in a turkey. I'm first though. So I only know one name, hmm. Joey. Yeah, Joey. Joey, we know it it's, Joey. it's Joey. I'm first, so I get to answer. That's not fair. We it's all... not fair. I'm first. I get to answer, and I answered it. You don't go against the rules. That's no, not the rules. All... all right, I'm first. Right? We're supposed to rotate. No, no, no. Whoever wins the right gets first no, shot. No, you made no. that up. No, so we didn't make that up. We and all I rotated. It first. I, who said Joey first? It's it's uh, it's uh, Rudy's uh, turn. Yeah. No, no. Who said Joey first though? We all knew it's Joey. Uh, no, but it who said Rudy. it first? Rudy. No, I said it first. Rudy. We'll do a different question. No, you didn't win. no, no. I said Joey no, first. No, Fuck you. The Three, judge, two, two. The judge said it was me. The judge did say it was her. <laughs> Respect right. the judge. Okay. Uh, take away a point from him, judge. <laughs> no, you can't take away from him. Three, two, two. two. <laughs> yeah, you did. No, no, three. No, you yelled you at him. You took two away three, from two, me. Three, two, two. Fuck you, you already took two away from me. Judge, judge. No, no. Judge, do not do it. Do not do it. Judge. No, it's, it's three, three, two. Thank you. So but three. Oh, so, oh, me and Rudy have three. You have two. So you went down no, and I no, went up. You have two, Andrew. I went up. Yeah. So three, three, two. Different question. Go ahead. Okay. Like Which fucking... state raises the most turkeys? What state? What state raises the most turkey? Rudy. Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a turkey there. A lot of turkeys in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. they, they, they strive. They, they, All right, who's they thrive in fucking judge, deserts. Judge, who's next? You. Nebraska. Kentucky. It's Minnesota. Fuck. Okay, no one I was going to so say Minnesota. Minnesota, why them? I don't know why. But... <laughs> cold, cold. Okay. I think they need Which cold. I don't know. Closer okay. to Minnesota. Arizona, no. Nebraska's pretty close. I'm close. No, no, but there's no close. You have to get it on on that one. <laughs> okay. Is that who's ever close? Sure. Thank you, George. <laughs> so it's 3 2 2 still. Go ahead. Okay. 3 3 so, 2. I mean. Bobby. Yeah. What is a snood? What? 
What is a snood? S N O O D. S N O O D. Snood. And it's related to Thanksgiving? Yes. Do you say at snood like the at symbol? No. Just what's snood? Is that your question? Yes. It's a sauce. Okay. Andrew? Snood is, uh. Snood is, um. Rudy, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Throw it out there. I don't even know. Does know, it involve just, the turkey? You, no, can't, you ask can't ask questions. questions like that. You're your mind? Yeah, something. Yes. Okay, right. I, I, is it the. Oh, I, it, well, then yeah, I did not know. Why? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Is it the thing on there? No, that's a gizzard. That's a gizzard. No, the gizzard's down here. Yeah, yeah. The snoot is the test. Maybe that's she's yeah. saying. The testicles above the nose. Is that what you were asking? Yeah. Snoot. Okay, that's her answer. Uh, mine is the the thing above their head. Okay, Rudy wins. Is the loose skin under a male's turkey's it's neck? It's such yes. bullshit. You can, I didn't ask a question. Yeah, but. she asked. That's unfair. You even yeah, said, yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. about the turkey. For us, you just said, yeah, it's about Thanksgiving. <laughs> Four, three, two. That's fine. That's Go not ahead. fine. It's unfair. I, I know, but she's the judges have a. How many days? Did the first Thanksgiving last? Who's up first? Rudy. Um, five. Okay. Three. I have to say two. Fuck. Okay, three. How do the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and the American Thanksgiving Parade conclude? How does it end? Yep. Bobby. It ends with a Goodyear blimp at the end. It ends with uh, Snoopy, I think. Okay, Rudy. Um, can I have two answers? No. No. <laughs> no. no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That's crazy. <sighs> um, fireworks. What is no. it? With the arrival of Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, fuck. What was the other answer you were gonna say? A prayer. A prayer? Yeah. yeah uh, that, that, that's 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 actually very. <laughs> the last car goes by and everyone just starts praying. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? How many women sur survive to celebrate the first Thanksgiving? How many women survive? In what disaster? Well, in the disaster of coming to America and then fighting the Native Americans and settle. How many women? That's it, it could be any it could be a million to fucking ten. No, we just established that a hundred and two people came. Oh. So a oh, hundred and two people. Okay. So how many survive uh women? Who's survive? first? Uh Andrew. I mean fifty four. Okay. Sixty Eight. Thirty. Only four. What? I, I, I win that one. No, you don't. No. Yeah, yeah, because it's whoever gets closest. That's yes. not fair. Yep. That's, that's too far. That, that does, that's not too far. It I is. get it. That's the rule. I get it. Fuck it's you. Wrong. You won a couple that way, too. I get it. I get that. It was a terrible guess, but Bobby gets it. Thank you. Four, four, three. Four, four, three. God. <laughs> What meat did the Native Americans bring to the first Thanksgiving? What did the Native Amer what meat did they bring to the first Thanksgiving? Yes. What meat or didn't bring? No. What meat did they bring to or the first they Thanksgiving? Bring? Who's up first? Rudy. To Bobby. Oh, okay, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby, what you meat? win. Sorry. Deer meat. Buffalo. Rudy. Poultry. Poetry. Poultry. Oh. Chicken. I thought you said poetry. <laughs> it was bison, which is deer, so Bobby gets the win. Bison isn't deer? You mean venison? Venison, sorry. Venison is deer. <laughs> yeah, venison. I don't think it counts. Yes, it does. No. Actually, I won! <laughs> fuck you! Hey, hey, hey. So I win the Thanksgiving don't, fucking... No, don't be a sore winner. Don't be a, a, a oh, bad yeah, winner. Right. Thank you. Otherwise, throw that pie right in his face. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Rudy, throw that pie right at him. The first Do it. annual fucking Thanksgiving trivia. Um, yes. And I, 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 let me make a speech. Hearey, hearey. Oh, um, no. I really... Um, All right, Bobby. You know what this that, is? What does that do? You have to break it, and whoever, whoever gets the bigger piece... Um, Gets to make a wish and it comes true. Okay. Okay. 
So you grab just a little, just a little bottom. The bottom, the bottom. Yeah. Okay. On the count of three, you pull. One, two, three. Well, I didn't... <laughs> I, I didn't know that you were gonna. Right? Well, you're supposed to break. No, you can't. No, you don't do high up. You have to go way down okay. at the bottom. Yeah, but I'm gripping it, right? I've never done this before. Ready? One, yeah, one, two, two three. three. Yes. <laughs> it's only fair. Let me make a wish. Perfect. It worked! <laughs> Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thank, Thank you for, for being, being a bad, bad friend. friend.